So good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Myself, Shivani Kashyap, Technical Analyst at Deshalad India. And today, I'll be taking you throughout the webinar today. So to get started, firstly, I want to talk about technology because our topic for today's webinar is empowering higher education, navigating content digitalization for institutional growth. So technology. So the importance of technology in higher education cannot be overlooked because it plays a very crucial part in higher education. And here comes the topic of content digitalization arises. So in very simpler terms, content digitalization means converting uh, traditional educational resources into digital formats. And if you want to integrate technology and content digitalization, then it will be a very challenging task if it is not being executed through proper plan or through proper ways. And most of the like higher institute providers are also looking for innovative ways to present their content online because they feel that digital con because they feel that content digitalization is very important. So in this webinar today, I'll run you through these following things. We talk about the significance of content digitalization in higher education. So we talk about why content digitalization is really important, especially for higher education. Then we cover content for university growth. So we will talk about why that content digitalization is really important for university to grow. Moving on, we also cover the challenges a university faces in content digitalization. In between, I'll also show you how Mobius Interactive and Innovative Content transform institutes by adopting digital uh, content. And at the end, we have a Q&A session, so we can uh, have your queries then. Or if you have any queries during the session, please feel free to put them in the chat box, then we'll cover those also. So, uh, most of you have seen that in today's fast-paced world, Every university wants to digitalize their content for so many reasons. Because in the recent survey, it has been calculated that 50% of the students agree on the fact that digital experience was a key factor in their learning. And also from the survey reports, you can see that number justifies the need for digital content. Because you can see that from here, 71% of the student engage more with digital course material even 45% student want to learn on personal device. Evenly, a 79% student prefer online quiz, adaptive learning and e-textbook in learning. Also, various government initiatives has also been taken to support digital content because they also think that digital content is really important for higher education, especially in this era. And uh, likely most of the universities also adopt this shift, but the plan is not being executed in a proper plan. So uh, later on, I'll cover you how you can incorporate digital content into your current learning system. So for importance of content digitalization, especially in higher education, there are numbers of advantages for both students, in educators, and even for institutes. Now, firstly, we have demand for flexibility and accessibility. So to students today seek flexibility in how they are accessing digital content or any resources. And in this field, digital content provides that flexibility for students to learn at their own pace anytime, anywhere using various devices. And institutions that offer digital content can attract a wide range of students, uh, including working professionals or non-traditional learners, thereby which increases the number of enrollments and also increase in the number of revenue too. Also through this, educators can adapt personalized learning experiences for each and every student. On second, we have enhanced learning experience. Digital content offers interactive and multimedia rich learning experiences that engages students very effectively compared to traditional textbooks and like lectures and resources. So by incorporating digital content into their teaching practices, educators can improve students' motivation, their retention, even their academic performance, leading to the positive outcomes for both students, educators. On third, we have global reach and collaboration. 
So digital content enables institutions to reach a global audience beyond their physical campus. So by offering online courses, digital resources and collaborative platforms, institutions can attract students, uh, faculties from all around the world. And this global reach not only like enhances the students or institution's reputation, but also contribute to, to its growth initiatives. On last, we have institutional growth. So this is the major importance of content digitalization, specifically for higher education. Because content digitalization is really important for schools and colleges to grow. It helps them reach more students by making like learning materials available online. And this can lead to more students enrolling, which bring in more money and boost schools reputation and universities reputation. Also, digital content can be updated easily. So educators or institutes can update their digital content very frequently. And it also encourages students and teachers to share their ideas. Now let's talk about the major challenges when a university is adopting digital content. So the very first challenge is accessibility. So by adopting digital content, many students find some difficulty in assessing the digital content because of uh, like for so many reasons for UI, for user interfaces. On second, we have unable to track progress. So by adopting digital content, sometimes educators and institutes are unable to track the progress of the students, whether they perceive the content or not, whether they like opened up the courses or access the courses or not. On third, we have content quality assurance. So like in today's world, every like resource can be found on the internet. And but the content available in these resources will not up to the mark about the expectations of students. On fourth, we have difficulty in engaging students. Sometimes uh, digital content fails in engaging students more effectively. And at the last, we have lack of clarity in learning objectives, which is the major challenge that most like students faces because they will be learning in the classrooms from different like from different style of their teaching. And if they find other resources from any like from any website, from any resource, their teaching methods will be different. So this is a gap in the learning which uh, every student faces. So up till now, I have covered portions on why digital content is really important for higher education. So I would like to ask you or uh, you, if you want to add your perspective, your like views on digital con on content digitalization, you can. And I'm sharing also one poll regarding this. So you can like share your views on that also. So here you go. So this is the poll regarding content digitalization. So you can share your views based upon that. Like how effective you think can content digitalization approaches be? Because up till now, we have talked about why content digitalization is really important, specifically for higher institutions. So I would like to like know from you, from you guys, like how, what you think about content digitalization. Like whether it's extremely needed for universities right now, or the effect of digital uh, content is like, is going decreasing by post COVID or something like that. Okay, so moving on, we have like we have talked about the challenges of a uh, content digitalization a university faces. So to overcome these challenges, I will want to brief you about a description of our product Mobius. So I'll just update my screen. So we at Digital Ed India have a product called Mobius, which is an e-learning platform and which is specially designed for STEM-based courses. So through our platform, educators and institutes can better deliver their online content 
to the students which engages students very effectively so generally stud uh, instructors will be sharing like lectures or will be sharing educational resources or printed materials to the student but those are not much engaging interactive and most importantly those are not much responsive enough and that is the reason why these alternatives have been replaced by digital alternatives so so with mobius we have a content which is more much more interactive engaging and most importantly uh, responsive i'll show you how so this is a mobius lesson as you can see uh, you can add text images mathematical equations but if instructor feels that questions are very much important to the student while reading the content so he can add a question in between the lesson only so after going through the content student can see this problem he can try it out and checks whether the answers are correct or wrong so students are not, not just reading they can validate their understanding at every stages at times the final answer is not sufficient because student didn't know on which particular step he has done mistake so for this he can have a detailed feedback for the question too again very helpful for the student to identify their mistakes and to Im improve on their skills now what if if student got this answer incorrect and he wants to try out more problem so here the very exciting feature of our platform called randomization comes in so when i click on try another you will see a new set of question is being visible to a student so now students have the ability to practice more and it evenly like saves a lot of time for instructors as well now specifically if i want to talk about mathematics so for mathematics generally instructors don't ask questions in terms of mathematical expressions because they only have to rely on mcqs and through mcq students would guess the answer but on our platform you can even ask those sort of problems like this so students can easily write mathematical expressions using these pre built templates and can check their answers but with mathematics the problem is grading arises because to grade math platform needs to understand math so for this mobius is a great choice because it understand math as math so you can check your answers like this but with this particular problem or with any mathematical expressions because this is the beauty of mathematics that any expression can be altered in different form like this so what if students write this response so when i click on how did i do platform grades my answer correctly because of the powerful math engine behind our platform so not only this expression any expression which is mathematically equivalent to the correct answer will be graded correctly so uh, now so these are the extra things you need in a platform to grade maths at times you also realize that visualization plays a very important role in students learning because uh, we already mentioned that the, that digital content provides you a multimedia rich content so for this you can even embed external applications directly into the platform so through these platforms students can play around these parameters and see how these parameters are affecting the curve so the primary objective is to get more hands on experience so that students engages more and understand the concept more normally in physics fbd's hand will had been involved which are free body diagrams so you can even grade those responses as well so any higher concept of stem can be graded on our platform so like this so you can uh, you can drag the force like this you can choose a force from here and you can use any background image as you want and also these questions are automatically graded by the platform so these so these types of constructs are also handled by mobius now at times you can also like incorporate questions with bigger lens or examples directly into the platform so let's say student got this answer done and and when they click on verify if they got these answer incorrect then in this case mobius guides the solution how to proceed with this particular problem so firstly he have to do this step then this step then this and simultaneously he will reach the final answer so in this way 
a mobius gives directions to the student how to proceed with the solution so by splitting the question into multiple parts also instructors would make it easier for the students to to understand this topic clearly and this is not for these mathematics physics or basic electrical engineering it totally depends upon the instructors and uh, also you will be noticing that these are not just the uh, learning through static pages here you students can validate their understanding at every stages now as we are stem centric and we have all these courses but we feel independently this is not sufficient because until unless institutes don't know uh, whether students are accessing the content or not or uh, whether like how students perceive their content it is not advantageous to the institutes so for this we'll also provide you the analytics for the same which provide you information about the active users on the platform about every session duration of the platform you can even know where students are spending much time whether on lessons whether on assignments on and in lessons where students are spending much time on questions or in videos so these insights you actually want to make some interventions in your courses and you can get as much as detail as you want like in lessons in assignments in questions and lessons so for example this particular problem is tried out most number of time and on the same other hand this particular problem is incorrect most number of times that means this is the problem so it may be possible students don't understand this topic so the very first thing you will do in the next class is the like explain this topic again but without the tool you would not be able to figure out this feedback of the students so the feedback that you are getting from this data analytics is very helpful for you as an instructor because you would have a comprehensive picture of the whole class and also you will be able to identify the gaps in learning and depending on this you can make interventions in your courses and for an institute it is also very advantageous to them as well because they can use this data analytics for accreditation purpose so briefly this is i want to cover uh, with respect to product or surely you can like deal with different subjects accordingly so i'll just update my screen a little bit now moving on i would also like to spend some time upon opportunities for institutional growth so firstly we have opportunities for institutions to monetize their educational content so this is one of the major opportunity for institution because after adopting digital content platform universities can create or can like also can create their own content on the platform itself and can sold that content to other universities if they want on second we have enhanced their reputation and standing in the academic community which is also very important for higher education because it proves that university is innovative in providing high quality education to the students and also contributes in brand building on third we have increased productivity which is a very like good opportunity for institutions to grow because if every student will understand the things will like learn the things at their own pace then ultimately the productivity of the whole institute will grow and last but not the least we have nac accreditation so universities can use those data analytics for nac accreditation purpose also and apart from these four pointers there are numbers of opportunities that a university can get after adopting these digital content platforms now moving on this is a short case study regarding university of waterloo which is using mobius from a very long time and have a very positive results like in terms of their students academic performance they claim that by using mobius they can better deliver their online stem courses and also emphasize on learning by doing additionally educators will have more flexibility and scalability because they can ask different types of questions to the students because the whole platform is being designed by keeping instructors in mind additionally uh, in educators can ask different types of question because while dealing with different subject instructors will have to do some modifications and every subject needs different modifications so accordingly they can they can modify the content now moving on these are our few uh, customers basically international customers who are using mobius for a very long time and they have a very positive results 
in terms of academic growth in terms of like students will engage more effectively in learning and if i talk about indian customers these are our indian customer in which recently we closed our cases including iit madras iit palakkad iit jammu iit kanpur and in various universities our pilot is also going on so hopefully they can get most out of the product and simultaneously grow so this is so this is what i want to like cover in this session today if you have any queries or if you want to like add on something your views or your perspective on anything you may share or you may share your queries on the chat box itself i will also share the link of our web site you can have a look on this or if you have any queries then you can reach out to us I can I know. Okay, so for adding your content, it depend. If you already like, if university already have a like pre built content with them, then it totally depends upon the university how they would like to like add the content on the platform. So. Can you please show some examples? So let's show up some examples for that. So this is the interface of the Mobius. And if you want to add some content, then uh, we have given you the instructor account. And through instructor account, you can upload your like PDF files or like something prior resources into the platform directly. So anything specifically you want to ask like in this adding the content? So basically you have given the instructor credentials and then you will be able to create content on the platform. Any more queries if you want to ask like regarding any platform like or you want to share your experience with learning platforms. Uh, let me just share one poll regarding the same. Just a second. About this online learning system, then you are able to share your views upon online learning system. Like are you currently using any online learning system or not? Or have you used before like Like during the pandemic, post COVID.
all of you can like uh, share your views on this learning online learning system whether you are currently using an online learning system or not Like any more queries you want to ask, you may feel free to put them in the chat box and we will cover those also. Anybody have any other questions regarding anything you want to ask? Any more queries? Okay, so let's wind the session for today. Thank you so much for joining. And you can reach out us to our like website if you want to take this discussion further.